Hey, welcome back RT students. On social media this week, I posted a video that explained how to use the magic box. So what I'm gonna do on this video today is go over the magic box again and show you how it is applicable to clinical practice, okay? So we're gonna do it with a scenario. We've got a 50% air entrainment mask. Now, just a little bit of a review. When we're dealing with air entrainment systems like a Venturi mask, or anything that hooks up to a jet nebulizer, an aerosol mask, a face tint, a T-bar, a trait collar. All of those are air entrainment systems, okay? The magic box is applicable with that system, okay? And what the magic box does for us is it tells us the total flow from the device. And then you're gonna place that device on the patient. So we've got two things we really need to make sure we know about when we're dealing with an air entrainment system. We have to know the total flow from the device we're dealing with, and we have to know the patient's inspiratory flow. So I'm going to just divide it into the device, meaning this 50% will pretend like it's a venturi mask, and then the patient's inspiratory flow. All right, so let's start with the magic box. To do the magic box, you put the FiO2 in the box, okay? So, so there's 50%, it's in a box. Super magical, right? All right, what we're wanting to do with this box is come up with an air to oxygen ratio. All right, so here's what you do with this. Think air, what is the FiO2 of room air? Well, it is 21%. Okay, now a lot of people will tell you, you can use 20 here to make the math easy. You can, but there's certain rules when you can use 20 and when you can't. So rather than memorizing a lot of different rules and getting them kind of mixed up, you've got a calculator. Always use 21 here and you will always be right without memorizing any rules, okay? So the air part of this is 21. The O2 part, what is the FiO2 of pure oxygen? 100%, okay? Now we do some kind of funky math. We go 100, we're gonna Subtract this way. 100 minus 50 is 50. This is where the math gets weird. Then we go 50 minus 21, and that goes right here. And see, this is where I'm gonna use my calculator. So if I say 50 minus 21, that is 29. That answer goes here. These numbers mean nothing to me yet. Okay, I have to reduce them to get an air to oxygen ratio. Now in an air to oxygen ratio, Oxygen will always be 1, which is, means you will divide from the right to the left. So this is 29 divided by 29. So when you take 50 divided by 29, this gives you 1.7. Okay, so 1.7 to 1. Here's what this means. If you set this 50% Venturi mask up on the flow meter and you turn that flow meter on at one liter a minute, one liter a minute, the system will draw in 1.7 liters per minute of room air. And when you precisely mix these two things, it is a recipe for 50%, okay? Well, we're running it at 10, so we don't have to keep going 10 equals this, 10 equals that. Just here's the quick way to do this. Add these two parts together, that's 2.7, okay? And then multiply it by the flow on the flow meter. 2.7 times 10 is 27 liters per minute. Here's what that mean, this means. When you put that 50% Vinny mask on that patient, okay, and you turn it on to 10, that 50% is coming out of that mask at a speed of 27 liters per minute. That's how fast it's entering into their nasal and oropharynx for them to take a breath in, okay? Now, we've got to talk about the patient side of this. We have to figure out or estimate their inspiratory flow. What that is, is how fast they are inhaling, how fast they're taking a breath in, all right? The way you do that is first you have to calculate minute volume. So minute volume is tidal volume times respiratory rate, right? You do that math and it comes up with minute volume or minute ventilation as you might have heard it. All right, so I'm gonna say our tidal volume is 0.5 liters. Could have also said 500 milliliters, right? And the respiratory rate is 20. 
So when you take, let's just do the math and make sure everything's absolutely perfect. When we take 0.5 times 20, we have 10 liters per minute. I don't really need the calculator for that, that, but there you go. 10 liters per minute, that's their minute volume. When you take the minute volume and you multiply it by three, that is a very good estimation of the patient's inspiratory flow. So this patient's inspiratory flow is roughly about 30 liters per minute. Now here's what we've got going on. We've got a mask on them that is only delivering an, a flow of 27, but our patient's breathing in 30, okay? That means there's an extra three liters per minute they have to get somewhere. And the way they're gonna get that is to draw room air in through the holes on the side of their mask. And when that air comes in, it mixes with that 50% and they're not getting 50% anymore. They're getting significantly less. That's not how these systems are supposed to work. They're supposed to be a precise FiO2. They are a precise FiO2 when our device meets or exceeds the patient's inspiratory flow. And right now we're short. We can fix this super easy, okay? All we have to do is turn up the liters per minute on the flow meter. Instead of 10 liters a minute, let's go to 12 liters per minute, okay? Now remember, our air to oxygen ratio is 1.7 to 1. Add those together, it's 2.7. But instead of times 10, we're gonna take it times 12. Okay, when you have 2.7 times 12, that gives us a flow of 32.4. I'm just gonna call it 32 liters per minute. All right, our patient needs 30. We're providing 32. That means every bit of what the patient is pulling in comes from that device. So they will get that set 50%. And that's how high flow systems or aerosol entrainment systems should work. Hope this helps. See you soon.